Uh, Bradley, you guys are down seven at halftime, and then in the third quarter, I think it was 22 to four. Um, what changed? What did you guys do different, or what adjustments did you make? What led to such that sort of third quarter explosion? Yeah, I think it started with our defense. Um, we definitely weren't sticking to our game plan uh, first half, and I think second half, you know, we got in, uh, up on shooters, um, pushed the ball in transition, and were able to make and knock down shots uh, that we didn't first half. Must have been some offensive adjustments though yeah. too. You scored as many points in that quarter as you did the whole first half. Yeah, we had really good post presence. Megan came out and gave us some really good minutes, and Lars and Peyton, uh, they were all there, and um, that really helps us get our game going when we can have them inside there making plays. Megan, you guys only gave up 13 points the whole second half. Uh, what was just the, the key to being so good defensively in the second half? It just came down to like our toughness or uh, our intensity. We were just every time we would talk to each other, we were like, you got to get up on shoes. We got to be focused. We got to get out there and do what we need to do. It's our plan. So we just got to go out there and do what we know we can do. How much of a focus is defense for this team right now, just given that you know a lot of offensive players graduated from last year and now this year you've got all these injuries that you're trying to work through? Is that kind of what you're trying to hang your hat on a little bit? Yeah, defense is always a big focus of ours. We, like a good chunk of practice is always spent on straight defense. That's what we always focus on for the majority of the, like, ha half and half or a little over. Defense is important. How do you do that? Is it is it a, an X's and O's thing? Is it just an effort, energy thing? What are you guys doing when you're playing well defensively? It's a lot of energy and effort, I think, because we know what we need to do. We do it every single day. We do it in most games. So it just comes down to being ready and getting that intensity to go out there and fight for those individual plays. Riley, when you've got as many injuries as you guys do right now, does that put a little, I don't know, chip on your shoulder necessarily, but kind of a wanting to prove that you guys can still be a good team when you're missing people like you are. Yeah, no, it's been tough having those girls out. You know, they're key players for us. But I think a lot of our young girls have done a really good job of stepping up and, you know, giving us really good minutes when we need them. And that's just really important for us and key for us to be successful as we move forward. Megan, you've been one of those players the last couple of games contributing offensively. <coughs> What's been different for, for you the last couple of games being able to kind of step into a larger role? Uh, some of it, it, you know, it's a little bit more pressure, but like you just got to feed off of it and use it to your advantage. So that's something I try to do. And I just try to come out with as much energy as possible because I feel like that when we all have energy and we have people who bring out a little extra, that just helps get us going. Uh, yeah, really good win. Great second half. Defensively, we played, you know, very well in that second half. In the first half, I thought we just we gave up some threes there in situations where we just needed to, to be a little bit better. And they took advantage of it. They had a lot of momentum in that first half. Um, you know, we were good in the third quarter offensively, really good. And I thought good in the fourth. We just, you know, didn't make shots, but we got quality shots. I thought played really well offensively. We just need to find a way to get a couple more in the basket. But you know, a lot of credit to Oral Roberts. I think they're an awfully good team. I really do. You know, and, and Holt's a new addition for them as they continue to grow with her in that lineup. That's an awfully, awfully good team. They're multidimensional. They can make shots. They can post up. They defend really well. So. Um, I really credit our players for how well they played in the second half because that's a, that's a really good team that uh, we had to play against. Aaron, I know I ask you this all the time when you have a third quarter like that, but were there adjustments? Did you regroup a little bit or did you just play better in the third quarter? You know, yeah. You know, we handled ball screens differently in the third quarter. I thought that was really good. We put a little bit of time into that in practice, uh, but all the credit really has to go to the players. That was kind of a, an on-the-fly thing, and they handled that you know, really well, I think. Um, offensively, I thought we were just a little rushed. They did a nice job of doubling and helping in the post in the first half, and I think it just everything we did was sped up, didn't look comfortable. And I thought in the third quarter we uh, we ran a lot more just sets. We had a lot more structure to what we were doing to try and create a little bit better plan, and I think our team responded well. Uh, but we just made some shots too. I mean that just goes a long way. You know, in the first half it seemed like we had some chances to to make some shots, we just couldn't. Didn't. Well, you talk so. a lot about how good defense can kind of get offense going. Was that kind of a good example of that in the third quarter? I think so. And it's just good plays fuel other good plays. Offense usually fuels defense and vice versa. In the first half, we were a little down. They were making shots, and we had some blown assignments, so that lingers. And now you got to go down and try and make a shot after you probably just got reminded that you didn't do something as well as you could have, which is hard to sometimes overcome. But uh, and so, yeah, absolutely. I thought our defense really created some things, and offensively, it just freed us up to make some plays, and, and it was good. Peyton was excellent tonight. You know, she had a quiet 17, um, really passed the ball well. Could have had 10 assists, you know, if a couple of those go in. I thought she's, she's going to be a hard one to double because she does see the floor well. She's not uh, over aggressive. You know, she tries to stay within herself. Tagan really played well, and, and you just can't really say enough about you know Megan off the bench for us. She's just been fantastic every game, a little more confident, a little more sure of herself, and 
Uh, I've said it before, and I'll keep saying that there's a great example of a you know young person, a senior who's been sticking with it and just making the most of our opportunity. And, and we you know appreciate everybody on the team, but when you see somebody in that situation do well, you you just feel that little extra something for them, and that's okay, I think, to feel that. So. It's been a pretty long road for her to get to where she's contributing like that in the rotation. What's been clicking for her, or how did she work her way into that position? Yeah, and you know, some of it's, uh, I don't mind saying this either, some of it's just opportunity. You know, some injuries have changed things, and we've gone a little further. Uh, but again, I still think she's the catalyst because she's making the most of that opportunity. I, I think it's different for players when they feel like, you know, I might play and might have an opportunity versus, ooh, I got to go out and play well or, or this, this ain't going to go well. It's just different. And you can see she's embraced that, uh, that role where she knows she needs to perform. This is a great matchup for her, too, because of how physical it is and her length inside. And, and uh, you know, some other games are going to be tough. Western Illinois is the opposite. They're going to try and spread us out. They're going to shoot a lot of threes, and that might be a tougher game, you know. So uh, we'll have to find the right situations for her, but just, just proud of what she's doing. She's making the most of it. Do you feel like your players are embracing this difficult situation you're in as far as the injury bug? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's hard. I absolutely do. You know, we, we had another injury two days ago in practice. We haven't gotten through a week where something hasn't come up, and I don't know if we have all year. You know, so after a while, it's deflating, and and you just have to to keep talking about it. You know, the the things that we can control, our our attitude, our effort, our focus, those will be the things that will move us forward or pull us back. Injuries won't. You know, uh, I look at that starting lineup for us. That's a good starting lineup. That, that there's not a lot of you know. That's a really good starting lineup. Um, so there's not a lot of holes. You know, would it be nice to have everybody? Sure, but. Uh, there's plenty of talent on this team, you know. They just we need to stay focused and really compete. So, so. can you give us an update on where everybody's at? Um, you know, I, well, they're still in boots. That's the hard part. You know, Maya really hasn't come out of that boot except probably, uh, you know, a few times a day. Yeah, you know. So she's still in it. So she's not. She's just not where we were hoping she would be, uh, and that's hard. So it's not a definitive answer, but uh, but she's not ready to come back. I know that. Um, Tori's is still was a, another injury that came up here in the last couple of days. So I don't know if she'll be back this weekend or not. We don't think that's long term. Um, should be short term, I think, but she wasn't ready, you know, hasn't practiced. And then uh, Callie will be out for the rest of the year with a leg injury. She will not be back. You know, that's the one that won't happen. So.